This used to be my dad's watch. Now, it didn't always look like this. I've modded it significantly. It used to have this watch face on it. As you can see, the subdials are all fake. So this is just a cheap watch that you can possibly buy on eBay for less than $20 US. Uh, I think my dad was scammed into buying this watch because it actually came in a box set up like a gift set uh, with those words on it, that brand name. If you look up that brand name uh, you might find how much this actually costs. Um, and However, he bought this on a cruise ship and on the cruise ship it had carried a price tag of $99 US. Uh, now googling both the brand name and the cruise ship name, yeah, I was able to find stories about how people were actually uh, sc uh, scammed into buying the gift set because they thought it was a steep discount. So it priced at 99 but actually they paid 20 So it looks like, wow, what a bargain. Um, when really all it was is uh, fake subdials and a tiny quartz mechanism. The buttons were not even connected when I looked at the interior. So I gutted the watch and replaced it with an electronic timekeeping mechanism instead. So I replaced the entire mechanical quartz based mechanism and that mechanism to be honest only occupied a very tiny center of the um, interior of the watch. All, most of it was just a uh, plastic uh, filler um, to brace the mechanism in, in the middle. Uh, like I said before the buttons were not actually connected and all they had was uh, white um, an adjustment rod with a little knob to turn the, to set the time. Uh, as you can see, uh, I managed to fit in an Adafruit 12 NeoPixel ring. And this is being powered by a, li a small lipo cell. The brains of the timepiece is an AT Tiny 85, and there is a real time clock module here uh, from SparkFun. Uh, I forget the exact number, it's probably a DS um, uh, 1307 or something like that. You can sort of take the back off uh, uh, in order to prevent the um, electronic shorting out. I've had to stick a um, black insulation tape onto the underside and here you see that the um, RTC has its own battery backup to keep this time so I can actually unplug the LiPo from the AT Tiny and it will still remember what time it's keeping and the AT Tiny is soldered um, to the NeoPixel ring uh, via these wires and the RTC is using uh, I squared C interface of the AT Tiny 85. That leaves just two more pins on the AT Tiny 85 for the buttons. Now I used to uh, have the buttons ground um, a pull, uh, we had a pull-up resistor on pins 4 and 5 of the AT Tiny 85 and these buttons would ground those pins uh, via this, the, the case but I, in the earlier version when I was trying this out it didn't work that, well, that reliably because these I don't think these buttons were ever meant to work at all. Uh, they move very just just barely a, a millimeter or so. So instead, 
if you can just about see it here, I carved a piece of wooden pallet stick to make a more robust, reliable button mechanism. I actually uh, cut off a piece of this of a wooden pallet stick and lollipop stick or whatever you call this and carved it such that it formed a more like a, a square C shape and the gap if you squeeze the button it closes the gap and on either end of the gap I placed uh, two small tabs of copper tape slug tape uh, from Poundland of course and soldered it in the wires so it's now the case is no longer ground but instead one side is ground and the other side goes to the um, pins that have been pulled up via uh, 10k resistors and similarly for this side and this piece of pallet stick over here is just to brace it so that those two um, mocked up switches wooden, wooden copper tape slug, slug tape switches are pushed into the buttons that were never meant to act as buttons but they now uh, work reasonably well as buttons the watch face is a laser etched uh, acrylic disc that I had a friend at the local hack space make up. There are actually three of these that he made up and um, this is one of them that I've stuck to the front of the existing watch face uh, with double sticky back tape. Uh, this is the binary clock mode. Now it's a pity there wasn't enough space on the inside to fit the LiPo Poly um, and even though uh, I could have used a much smaller LiPo Poly even with this slightly larger one uh, it's for some of these display modes that I've coded up it's sucking a bit too much power and the 80 Tiny 85 is uh, glitching for some of them as you can see here it's not supposed to do that. So I guess I'm gonna have to recharge these before I attempt to program some more interesting displays. It's quite a challenge to think about different ways of using the color of 12 neopixels to encode uh, time since uh, uh, an hour has 60 minutes but you only have 12 neopixels to work with.